Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about Quora best tips, how to market on Quora, the best way we can increase free traffic to a new blog, article or website. If you have an online presence, either in form of a blog, a YouTube channel or a website or anything along these lines, then getting web traffic and getting visitors will be a priority to you and in turn, increase free traffic to your blog, your website or your YouTube channel. So in the next couple of minutes, I will walk you through a number of things which include amongst other things what Quora means, if you are new to the concept, how to get registered on Quora for free, building an awesome profile, Quora best practices and how to use Quora to drive an unending traffic. And somewhere in this video, I will show you how to find the best questions to answer on Quora so stay tuned and don't miss any part of this video where I have reserved for you a bonus tip. So before we actually do continue, please like this video, subscribe now to this channel and turn on the alert notification to be the first to be notified when I release any future updates. For the benefit of those who may not know, Quora is a question and answer website which was created in June of 2009 with about 200 to 300 employees as at the time this video is being recorded. It has an estimated revenue of 20 million US dollars and it is based in the United States of America. So you simply go to Quora and answer questions then link back inside of your answers to your website, your blog or your YouTube channel as the case may be without spamming your links. I will show to you the best tips and practices later on in this video. So to sign up to Quora, head over to Quora.com and sign up within seconds using your Gmail account or your Facebook account. Once you are logged in, upon confirming your password, you would want to change your profile picture on Quora through the icon right here. That is, if the one from your Gmail account is not one that you intend to make use of. Also make changes to your name and profile credentials right here. The number of experience in your chosen field and what it is you are doing. Say for instance, 4 years plus as a graphic designer in my own case. The next thing to do is to add your employment credentials. Whatever position you hold in your business, you add it as your credentials. Next is to add your educational credentials. In this place, you may choose to add a potential credential of your choice even if you are yet to have one. Also, add your location and you are good to go. The next thing is to create a space. A space on Quora is more like a blog where you can write articles and people get to follow you on such spaces. To create a space, just hit on create a space right here and you'll be asked to put your name. I will put mine right here. Then under the about, you put what it is you are doing. In my own case, graphic design. With the provision of a space, you can post regularly articles you have written without asking any question whatsoever. You can skip this and also skip this as we will talk about them much later. Now with your space being created, you can write out your content or you can add more topics under your space that is related to the name of your space or share your space to others. Quora gives you the liberty. It will please you to know that there are some do's and don'ts when it comes to Quora. You cannot come to Quora and start to post your affiliate links. If not, you will be banned from using Quora or your answers will be deleted. There is a way around it though. You can create landing pages for free using Google Sites and have your links embedded in your landing pages in your article or answers to questions. Now, the best practice is to post answers on Quora at least 5 times times before you add any links. So after every five posts, you insert your link. Then as time goes on, you can increase the number of links to two, then three, then four, then five links in five answers. But as a beginner, put your links after every five answers you give. So what is the best way to use Quora to drive traffic to your blog, website, YouTube channel, or whatever the case may be? Don't forget that the 
main purpose of Korah's existence is to ask questions or give answers to questions. So within the questions you are answering or posting your articles on Korah, the links to what you want to drive traffic to will be inserted and no one would question why you have them there, provided you follow the do's and don'ts as I have mentioned earlier. There are several ways you can get questions to answer on Quora, but I will show to you two ways on how you can get valuable questions to answer on Quora. The first is to go directly on the search bar of Quora and type in your questions directly. So as an example, what is graphic design? Then hit on search and a lot of questions will pop up. If I scroll down, you will see those who are following this particular question I have asked, including the answers that have been provided for this question. The advantage of answering questions on Quora with high number of follows is because Quora sends out answers you have provided to every follower via email. So to take advantage of this, make sure your answers are valuable and long. You don't want to just write out five lines as an answer and expect it to amount to much. Your answers should be valuable and contain at least between 1,500 to 2,000 words. Also, add eye-catchy images to your answers so it gives your answers more traction and also rank higher. The second best way to find profitable questions to answer on Quora is to make use of SEMrush keyword research tool. This will tell you the level of difficulty the question has and also the search volume. So when you give your answers, it will reach more people who potentially turn to traffic to your website, blog or YouTube channel as the case may be. In later videos here on this channel, I will treat how to use SEMrush keyword research tool to get profitable questions on Quora. Now, here comes the bonus tip as I earlier promised. The third way to get profitable questions to answer on Quora is what I will show you right now. Just go to your profile picture right here. A drop down menu appears. Then hit on create ads. Don't worry, we are not creating any ads, okay? This is going to lead us to getting high quality questions leading us to results with great profit. This is a request for a name and email. Since we are not creating any ads whatsoever, just put in any name and any email address. Fill in the following after hitting on next. Your business name, business website, and industry. Just fill out anything at all. Then you click on start advertising. Once it's downloading, head over to new campaign at the extreme right top over here. Give the campaign a name. Add the conversion event to be any one of the options available. Set the maximum daily budget to be any figure. Then you simply hit on continue. At this point, the next thing you would want to do is to scroll down to where you see excluded questions. Click on bulk exclude right here and here comes the magic let's say your target is um graphic design as an example so whatever question in a particular niche you wish to answer type it right here once i hit on continue you will see that there will be a display of the very best questions on this particular keyword graphic design on the Quora platform showing me the weekly views from the top to the lowest. What this tells us is that all other questions related to graphic design do not have loads of views. And if you get to answer those other questions, the views may be limited to say 150 views in a whole week as compared to answering the top 20 questions here. This will result to a whole lot of views weekly. Now let's just take a look at a different niche. Weight loss as an example. So I click on bulk exclude and then I type in weight loss and I hit on continue. It will display the most valuable question in the niche weight loss and I get tons and tons of views weekly by just giving answers to these questions. Put this to practice and see how it turns out. If you have gained any value at all from this video, please like this video. To see more valuable content, subscribe now to this channel and turn on the alert notification to get every new update. Leave me a comment below if if you have any questions and I'll be sure to give you an answer and I'll see you in the next video.